hello guys in this video we will learn how to do an http request in your flutter app we will learn how to do a get request and we will learn how to do a get request with a header we will also learn how to do a post request with an header and a body so let's get started first of all we will create a new project in Android Studio. Now we will clear some extra code which comes in default. Now we'll, we will create a button. Now we have created a button, so let's first run the project in our emulator. Compiling the project will take a time, so let's come back after a bit. Now our project is compiled, so we will add a line to do a HTTP request when our button is pressed. So this is we will do a code for that request. We have to pass a URI in the argument of this function HTTP get. We have first import. Let's import this HTTP. Import package HTTP. HTTP dot that. Now, as you can see, HTTP.dat is on the table. 
So we will go to our website, go to IML, and we will define the access. We will paste HTTP array. Then we will run path code And then we will run let's take it. Now our HTTP dot log now is using that. Now we can go to our project. Now to test our this project, we have created a backend project that has an endpoint of that request was required and a request with header and a body. So let me show you that. You can download this backend project from GitHub link. And you can get below and then or like and we install and go to the to run the project. So this is the project. Let me explain this a little bit so that you do not have confusion what I did. So we have three endpoints. This is a simple cat request that does not require a header. This is a get request with header, so it goes to an authentication protocol and it needs a authorization key to work with. So we can, we will be able to test if a Flutter app is passing, is able to pass the correct header to the endpoint. And at the end, we have post request that. With but that will need a header and a body, so it will return a lower with header and body if the endpoint runs successfully. So let's run this project first. npm install npm install is required for the world time when we first time we load. And then we will run more server. Now it is running in localhost, so we will need our IP address. This is an IP address, so we will just come on Chrome and run IP config. So this is our localhost IP address. Now we will put in in here HTTP IP address the code in which project running and the endpoint. So now this will be a simple get request. Save the response like this. And we will print that response. Okay, now let us check. Okay. We do not want to paste the complete response, so we will just uh paste.
but before that we have to check if our response was successful I guess I am seeing and await because it needs an await to be a synchronous so national liberty can check. And you can see we have got the response of an order. Now we will pass the header to the get cases. So we will do like this. Like the string, the string. Now we will pass header key as acquiescent for authorization key and the key is let's see it is PFC and we will pass this header in this as a second argument header request. Now let's save and run. And we have seen the hello world. Now if we disturb the authorization key and run the query. Okay, I, I forgot to change the endpoint. No, it says hello world with header. Now let's disturb the UK. Authorization field. So we have now confirmed that header is passing in our HTTP request and working with the endpoint. Now for the post request, we have to change the body. So final JSON we are passing a request body having a key name and its value and we will pass it in the different argument for the case file we will change type of the request and now we will check and can see we have got the response hello world with header and body and it is read by the endpoint so this is how you can do a get request post request and pass header and body in the requests in your filter app so thank you for that one don't forget to subscribe Oh,
Thanks for watching.